So when I do re movie reviews for this channel, there really isn't any rhyme or reason. I just like going exploring into the past. And as you can tell, I don't really keep it to one specific genre or theme. Sometimes I'm maybe in the 30s, sometimes the 40s, every now and then up to the 70s. But uh, every now and then I'll just be browsing around on the Internet Archive or a site like that, and I'll find some interesting public domain movie that just catches my eye out of random, and I'll want to watch it and do a review of it. And that is the case with Cowboy Holiday, a 1935 black and white public domain western that I had never heard of before, but it caught my attention because it just did. How to describe this film, it's just a goofy, fun western with a hero, a villain, and, you know, a silly little story that's kind of a fun distraction for an hour. The hero of this particular film is an actor named Buck Sawyer, who plays Big Boy Williams. It sounds like a mascot from a restaurant or something. And it's really interesting watching him. Uh, he is a hero who kind of looks like a combination of former President George W. Bush with a little bit of actor David Keith kind of mixed in. Hard to describe. Um, he's the hero, and the plot is basically is he's a cowboy who just wants to take a vacation in Waco. I don't know what's going on in Waco in the Old West, but that's where he wants to go. And along the way, he gets involved in a mystery of a very implausible situation of this big portly cowboy guy who has been dressing up as a small Mexican man in order to falsely blame another, this real Mexican guy for crimes that he's committing. And that's basically the plot. So it's up to big boy Williams to get to the bottom of things. And along the way, he's falsely accused of murder. He also manages to find a romantic interest and fall in love. And, you know, it's a cute story. And it comes to a nice resolution, as you would expect. It's just don't, don't read into it too much. What was really, I thought, amusing is the fight scenes. You know, between the hero and these beefy bad guys. Because it's sort of a combination of professional wrestling with this extreme fist fighting where he's just like flailing fists left and right and it's funny as you watch it because the sound effects it only it sounds like you hear a punch maybe one sound effect for every five punches and it's like they didn't sync up the noises or anything uh as it the case is with a lot of these old films from the 1930s I didn't really notice any music, so you just have a long stretch of film with the crickly crackly sound effects, and that's really about it, you know? It's just an old black and white western, it's fun, and more than anything, it's just, you gotta watch the actor, Buck Sawyer, and try to determine, you know, how many people does he resemble? You know, I see a little bit of a former president, a little bit of some actors from, you know, B-movies and stuff. But it's a cute film, and it's public domain. I want to see about using some clips on my video review here, and hopefully the YouTube powers won't crack down on me.